forward to this. I am. Hey, what's up, yo? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by some very good friends. I am Shrey. Hey, I'm Ken. All right, today, Chad Jensen's Urban Sprawl, published by GMT Games. When did we, we had talked about this, 2011. 11. So it's been, it's been a minute. It's been a decade late great Chad Jensen's game. <laughs> Uh, so welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. Hey, if y'all do end up liking this, certainly would appreciate a thumb, subscription, consider supporting the show over on patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Now Urban Sprawl, uh, I had not played this until uh, this past weekend. I had heard uh, that it is extraordinarily tactical, it is very chaotic, and those that like it really like it. And, Everyone else doesn't like it. There's really not a lot of middle ground with this, is, is what, how it, it had been described to me and what I had read. And, well, I guess you all will have to see this. It is tactical. It is chaotic. But the more you play it, the more you know the decks, the less chaotic it becomes. You can plan for certain things. That said, keep that in mind that it's going to seem extraordinarily chaotic since if you haven't played this game, you're going to see some very wild swinging events throughout the evening tonight. But uh, sit back, have a lot of fun with it. And that's what we ended up doing mm -hmm. this weekend, and we had a blast with it. We really had a good time with it. What I'm not going to do is a full teach on the front end, and the reason is there's a lot of stuff that comes up on the individual cards, and they kind of run things along. And so I'm going to give an overview uh, of the components and how the play flows. But past that, we're just going to get into it. Uh, we'll start the original uh, seeding of things, and then we're just going to play and let you all to figure it out as we go along, because I think that's the best way to do this in hindsight. So if y'all are ready, I'm, I'm ready. ready. All right, let's get into Urban Sprawl. All right. Abstractly models the growth of a town into a thriving city, into a teeming metropolis. Players act as entrepreneurs, tycoons, and of course, politicians, working to develop a single modern urban area. Fortunes will be made and spent, prestige will rise and fall throughout the game, and then hopefully rise again. As time goes by, older buildings will be demolished to make room for better and newer ones. Throughout the game, players will gather valuable permit cards. These will either result in lucrative investments or the foundation of a new building contract. Players will strive to become dominant in one or more building zones in order to acquire beneficial political offices. The end result will be a vibrant metropolis that is revered around the world but only the player with the most prestige will be crowned the winner. Full disclosure, there are three different ways to play this. The standard, the short, or the epic. The only difference is the difference of about a handful of cards. We're playing the short version, but really all that means is the events uh, that trigger the next stage of the game come a little bit quicker. That's basically it. In the epic, they go a little bit longer, um, and that's that. So, but the flow of the game, the feel of the game, nothing else really changes. All right, so what is it y'all are looking at? Well, we have the victory point track as well as the money track, round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Now, the game does come with paper money, and you would think to yourself, self, why aren't we using poker chips? Because you are constantly, constantly changing money in this game, and what we have found is just using little cubes to mark uh, our current uh, uh, wealth. wealth makes a lot of sense. Plus, there's going to be comparisons in wealth. And honestly, this just makes a whole lot of sense. There is no other way to do this. And you're talking to the king of proponent of poker chips. So, yeah, go with that. So, we have the victory point markers. We have the wealth markers, i.e. the amount of money we have. Then, within the actual grid here of the city, we have... 
Uh, we have rows. Rows are going to be considered both vertical as well as horizontal. All right, so we have rows that are going to be for scoring as well as other things that are going to have some markers on them. The markers are going to be wealth if they are the red markers. Uh, sorry, will be prestige. The red will be prestige, sorry, uh, markers. These will come out on the board possibly and uh, the two corresponds to these two blocks, the one for those two blocks and, or rows and three for those rows. Then the yellow are going to be the wealth as well as the other numbers that could go in to fill in the other spots and those will account for the various columns as well. And I should be clear that either wealth or prestige, i.e. victory points, could go uh, over here on the top or on the right hand side there. We have forest locations which are going to be adjacent. Adjacency in this game is going to be literal adjacent. So meaning this purple uh, building right here is going to be adjacent to all three of these individual spots as well as to this one because diagonals do count this one, diagonals do count, and this one, and that one. So all of those spots are going to be adjacent to that one spot. This is considered a block, this is considered a row, and each individual building spot uh, as things come up, of which there is four. Obviously, when we go to build, you cannot build across streets, you cannot build off of board, it's, it must be contained within the individual block. All right, then we have different color buildings and these are preceded out here on the board already. And there are essentially five different colors or types of buildings. There are the red civic buildings of which there are two there. There are yellow commercial buildings of which there are those four there. Industrial blue ones of which there are two residential which are the purple out here and then finally there are parks and the parks will all of these will range from one to four size buildings and the ones already come standard out here on the board now there are these little green markers that actually aren't from this game they're from a different game and i can't remember which one i stole them from because visually these are going to be important for the most valuable buildings in the game of the four types That'll make sense as we go along as we play. All right, so that's everything that you're looking at here in the middle. Over on the left-hand side, we have the building permits. And the permits have, uh, there will be a preceded deck with a number of different events. I believe there are 14 in the permit uh, deck, as well as various permits out there. The permits come in a couple of different varieties. The permits will show how many different uh, the strength of the permit, which will range from one to four. You'll see here we have a two size and a three size permit. In addition to that, there's going to be what types of buildings we're going to be allowed to use this permit for. So you'll notice the four types of buildings that are available to be built in the game. This permit can build up to a size three in any of the four different types. Whereas this one, only has uh, a strength of two and can only be used for commercial buildings and commercial buildings only. In addition to that, there is a wealth number down here in the bottom right. That is, at the beginning of a turn, you're going to be able to discard these out of your hand for that amount of cash if you wish to do so. Pretty simple on that. And finally, the last piece of information on a building permit card is going to be the ballot box. Whenever these come out, there is going to be an election. We will talk about that as we go along. But those are the various building permits. There are other our urban renewal cards. When we shuffle those in, we'll talk about them. When the events come out, we'll talk about them then. But otherwise, there are building permits over here on the left-hand side. This ultimately is an action point uh, or action point uh, game, meaning you're going to have a number of action points that you're going to be allowed to spend on a given turn. And you'll see that uh, the number of action points for a given card, these will convey or down as we go along. But over here, left hand side, we have the building permits. Then on the the building permits allow you to build the various buildings that are going to be here in the game as we go along over here. There is a town deck, a city deck, a metropolis deck, and 
the various cards that will come out into play as we go along. So with those permits are going to allow us to build various cards. Now, this one shows that it will require one industrial uh, or a strength two permit of industrial type. So for instance, we have out here, a uh, you will never make change in this game. So you will be discarding these building, these building permits to be able to build these cards as you acquire them as you go along. So that is going to be the cost to build it. This is going to be one of the benefits here, which is going to be a vocation that you're going to be allowed to acquire, as well as the payouts for the vocation, more on that. And then finally, a uh, amount, uh, some instruction that it's going to tell you to do. If it says that you, you being the active player that is building it. Otherwise, if it says players or it doesn't specify the you, that's going to be a universal discussion there. And finally, the wealth is going to be the amount that you're going to score for building that building. Hear more on this, and uh, not wealth, sorry, the prestige that you're going to score uh, when you build this building, more on that in a little bit. All right, and finally, we have the action points for those various cards as well. The city deck will get triggered at a certain point as we go through the uh, town deck. When our town has the airport event, uh, then the city deck will come into play. And then when the sports team event comes into play, the metropolis deck will come into play. And then finally, when the Olympics, the game ends immediately and we go into a final scoring. All right, so that's what we're looking at over here. Now, each of us have our uh, markers out here as well, which normally would be off board, but we wanted to be able to zoom this in. So I'm gonna be playing green, Ken pink, and uh, Shrey white. Then we have the offices. The offices and the election track, as you see over here, these are going to be handed out to players based on certain criteria, who has the most uh, prestigious buildings of a given type when we get there. But that's what these are going to come into play. The last thing that you don't see is going to be the various buildings. These come in one, two, threes, and fours, as I mentioned, in the various colors as well. And finally, there is going to be a player aid, which actually y'all can only see part of it. The only part that you really need to be able to see is the favor card or the banked card, the reserve card that we have claimed. And then it talks about a little bit of when it's your turn, what you can do and the various payouts as we go along. And finally, the last thing is the vocation markers up there. There are various vocations, which are going to be tied to the various uh, building contracts as we go along. And there are a certain number depending on uh, the, the uh, quantity of them available. There are more public service than there are finance, et cetera, et cetera. So that's pretty much everything that you're looking at here, but how is it you actually play the game? Well, the game takes place over an indeterminate round, uh, number of rounds. On your turn, you're going to take three phases, three steps maximum, and then it goes to the next player's turn. Rinse and repeat until the Olympics card is triggered or it comes up here in the Olympic or in the uh, Metropolis deck. Then we go into final scoring. So what do we do on our turn? You have three steps. The first step is investments. If you have any permits in your hand, you may discard any number of permits to be able to gain that amount of money. Pretty simple on that. If you wish to not do that or you cannot do that, you just skip that step. Okay, good. The second one is going to be action points. You have six action points on a given turn maximum in which you can spend. All right, you're going to do one of three things or any number of these three things up to the six action points allowed. The first option is taking planning cards, all right, so or permits. So one, two, three, four, and five action points respectively. You can mix and match however you want to. The second option is to take building contracts. The active decks, which in this case, the town deck is the only active deck. So we have a town card here as well as the town card display. One, two, three, four, five, and six action points. 
you can pay the action points and immediately reserve it onto your favorite spot if you wish to do so for a future time in which you wish to build it. If you have a favor or one that you have already previously reserved there, you cannot reserve another until you have built that favor. To build that favor, it costs zero action points. Why? Because you've already paid to acquire it previously. But the third thing you can do is take a contract to build, either paying the action points out here or paying zero action points to pay, build your favor. What are the steps to be able to do that? You're gonna pay the permit cost. So a, a commercial to permit cost, so provided I have that in my hand, or maybe I go ahead and grab this card for two action points, then I grab this one to immediately build it for four action points that I would build it, and that would be my turn. But I would have to pay the cost, which is discard the permit over into the discard pile over there, and make sure that it does match the zoning requirement, i.e. commercial. You cannot mix it. You can use multiple permits, but every permit must have that icon on it to match for the zoning requirement. The second thing is based on the size of the building, i.e. the number of permits required there, you're going to build a one, two, three, or four. So in this case, two, 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 one, one, two size out here on the board. Now, how do you build them? Pretty simple. It either must be adjacent to nothing or adjacent to at least one type of its own type of building. Pretty simple. Then you have to pay wealth equal to that block's total value. What is that? Well, let's take a look at this yellow spot right here. I'll just go ahead and put one of my markers right next to it so I can signify to show, let's say I own that building. Maybe I want to build that construction here. Sorry, that bakery right there. If I wish to build something, I could build it there. If I wish it is adjacent to an existing commercial, it is okay that it is adjacent to something that isn't a commercial as long as it's also adjacent to a commercial. In other words, I could not build it there. It's adjacent to something else that isn't commercial, but it's not matching the commercial. I could build it there. It's adjacent to nothing. That's fine. Or I could build it there. It's adjacent to, to industrial, but it's also adjacent to commercial. So that's legit too. But let's go back to this and let's say I choose to build it right there. Okay. I have to pay the cost for that building. Not in action points, but in actual wealth. Well, what is the cost to build on this block? Well, look at the number on all four sides. This has a four, this has a two for a total of six. We also look over here. If there was a number here, that would add to that number. We would look up here, that would add to that number. As it is, there aren't anything on there, so that would cost me six bucks. So I would go back six bucks on the wealth track. So there you go, from 27 to 21, boom, I have paid the wealth cost after paying the permits, and I would mark it with a little ownership to say, hey, I built that building. Then you would get a neighborhood bonus. What's a neighborhood bonus? Pretty simple. How many adjacent buildings are there of that type? So there is one. So I would get a neighborhood bonus of one prestige. All right, so that is one point. If this were there, I would get two. And it doesn't have to be that I am the one that built that. That could be Shrey's building or Ken's. I would still get the prestige because I have built a, a larger uh, complex of whatever that type of building is, okay? Then if there are any vocations, so for instance, this vocation right here, says factory two. I would, if I had built that, I would grab one of the factory markers right there and I would claim that vocation marker in front of me. If there are none left, I could just take it from somebody else. Did I mention this game can be extraordinarily nasty? <laughs> so beware of that, but you must take from here if available. Then everybody, for every marker they own of that type of vocation. So vocation is a factory two. So anybody that owns a factory gets a choice. You either get to wealth or to prestige. Easy enough. If you have three of the markers, you get to make that decision three times. Maybe I'll take two wealth, then I'll take two wealth, and then maybe I take two prestige because I get to make that decision for every vocation marker of that type I have. It could say, I don't know, finance seven. 
then it's seven points or seven wealth, whichever you want. But if it doesn't show a vocation, like these do not show a vocation, you skip that step, pretty simple. And then after that, you perform the building effects. Do whatever the hell is at the bottom of the card. Easy enough. Then throw away the contract or do as we like to do and just set it aside into your own little building area and it tells the story of you building the town individually. So, investments. So discard any of these you have in your hand that you wish to get money. Then spend six action points buying, reserving one, or just go ahead and immediately build, spending to be able to acquire those. And finally, clean up. Perform each turn. Uh, basically, it's a series of cleanup steps that we will go over. These will convey at the end of your turn. These will convey at the end of every player's turn and then we'll go through various other steps. The elections, when that comes out, we'll cover that. Until then, we're not gonna bother. Um, we go through all three decks. When we hit the Olympics, that triggers the end of the game. Whoever has the most points wins. It is extraordinarily bloodthirsty, and it can be chaotic. Have fun with it. That's how you play Urban Sprawl. Any questions? No. Nope. All right, I think that works. All right, let me bring up the chat and the cameras. And we need to randomize and figure out turn order if you want to there. Did I steal? Yes. There's that. There's that. There's those. You are a start player. All right. I am the start player, which I'll use this, but we're really not going to need it after we initially start. All right. The reason this matters is for the rest of setup here. All right. So now... Uh, the starting player selects any one of the 12 starting buildings. We're going to basically auction these off. You get your permits first. Okay, check that. Uh, help me out. That's, that's in, in the planning deck section. Uh, planning deck, draw four, play some face. Uh, okay, hold on. Drain the top of the stack. Give uh, the start player one, then two, then right. three. So. so I'll get one of these. So that is my starter one. These are going to be off camera um, just because space. All right, so I got one, Shrey got two, and uh, got three. And Ken got three. Then the start player, we're going to auction these off, essentially. Not really auction. We're going to select them in turn order, going round and round and round. Each of us is going to own four of those, because three players. Um, and, however, we have 27 bucks. you got to pay for it. Um, and then the media marker. Now, I should point out, this never changed hands in our last game. It, yeah, it, yeah, there wasn't it a lot of It can. Yeah, it can. But this is going to be an important thing to note. Having media is going to be important. Now, whoever spends the least amount of money gets the media marker to start the game. Okay? And then, um, yeah, that's it. And then we start. Okay, cool. All right. Um... I like residences, so I'll go ahead and spend four bucks and take the one that's right in front of me because it's two here, two there, four bucks done. Shrey. Um, I'll take this um, Civic, so it costs five. And Ken? Hmm. I'll take a residence as well. I'll take the even less expensive $3 residence up there. All right, so that would be Baltic. Okay, got it. And I will go ahead and take the expensive uh, Civic building, which is going to be seven there. So seven down uh, to 16. And I'll take the sixth value um, commercial. commercial. So I'll go to 16 also. I'll take a six value commercial as well. I'll take uh, the one that's here. So I had a plan coming into this. Do I forego media? Um, I'm going to take the six industrial. Hmm. Interesting. So there. Go down to ten, and I will take the five residential to eleven. The big one. The big one? 
It is the it is the most it's expensive. currently the most expensive. Resident. So uh, Broadway or uh, or Park Place. Okay, got it. Okay. Huh. Yes, I'm making mo uh, Monopoly references. Drinking nice tea tonight. Just 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 regular old iced tea. Is this game anything like SimCity or City Skylines? Um, I've never I, I've never played those That's board four. games. Oh, SimCity the the video Sim game. City's oh, video. okay. Yeah. They, so no. Know. Um, I don't know City Skylines. Def I don't know that one either. Definitely not like SimCity. I agree. And I will go ahead and spend. Do I? Ah, I am. I'm gonna spend six bucks to take that commercial three and three. Down to four. You know who has two thumbs and ain't going to be the media magnet this game? This guy. Yeah, so do I... Those two are the ones that are left. I don't have an industrial. Do I need an industrial? I don't know. Seven or seven. It is seven or... Oh, it is seven or seven. So the I'm not in this little, this little central area right here, um, which scares me a little bit, so I'm going to take that. Okay. So seven. Uh, I will choose... The other industrial. There we go. All right. So uh, everything now has ownership. So media marker will go to Ken. And there you go. I'm so on events. There we go. All right. And a couple of things. As we get uh, political offices, we're just going to put them here. If you're me and Ken, Shrey will have them over in that area. And our vocations will actually be in our various spots near our player pieces just to make it easier so we could keep this zoned or zoomed in. All right. Um, should we, I don't think we want to go over these every time, do we? Um, do we go over them to begin with? I think so. Might be good. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So we have a three, three, Four in one permit with the obvious zoning restrictions. And note, there is one face up on the top of the deck as well. Yep. All right. These only refill at the end of your turn, so keep that in mind. Um, and Ken, you want to do the honors, or since you for these, as far as oh, sure. you go from six APs on down and go over what these are to yep. begin with. So here we have apartments. It's a two lot residential, and its power ability is you may give one of your planning cards i.e. one of your permits, permits. Yep, to an opponent. And if you do, you gain control of one of that player's one lot buildings in an adjacent lot. Okay, so if I were to build it here, uh, sorry, if I were to build it here, an adjacent lot would be that, because each of these are individual lots, a block, and then a row, right? Yep. Okay, all right, keep going, courthouse. Uh, courthouse is a two lot civic building it says, choose a player with more vocation markers than you. That player must give you one. So, for instance, the only vocation marker that any Probably of us has well, that's right. is media. There we go. And I have a feeling some of the ones that are farther south are going to be a little more popular. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's a two-lot uh, two commercial building, the bakery. Uh, once you place it, play, players will give you one wealth for every civic building they control. And... Literally, we would go down, and that player that built it would go yep. up. And then they will also give you one wealth for every commercial building they control. And the house... Two it, houses. So slightly different versions of the same yes. rule here. So they're both one-lot residentials. And if one of these has an empty warehouse or prestige space, place the 9 or 10 uh, on wealth market there. So wh where, when you place, you can choose either the row or column that's empty where you place it and you can place the nine or 10 spot, which will affect the value property values. Yes. There. Yep, All so right. those are so, huge. Yeah. And then finally, we've got the textile mill, which is a two lot uh, industrial. It comes with a vocation, factory two, and it says you may discard a planning card, and if you do, each opponent must pay you uh, one wealth and one prestige. Now, whenever it says that your opponent must pay you or you gain from them, if they have it, mm -hmm. if they're at zero, it's zero. Right. So not a great card to play when people don't have any prestige. Right. Or or when they're broke. Yeah. So keep that in mind. There are going to be events. Uh, there are going to be cards also that whoever has the most wealth, that is going to be a tug of war that we are going to be fighting over as the game goes along. Okay? All right. So that said, uh, I take my turn. I do have this one four-value building permit. I currently have a four-value spot. Um... Hmm. 
I mean, that's five. <laughs> that's six, and I could do it. You certainly could. I don't think you could build. But I don't have the money to do it is the problem. Right. So I'm only going to get one of these. Mm -hmm. But I am going to get one of these. Um, one now, of them seems objectively better than the other one. Uh, the 10 versus the, the 9. The 10 that yes. costs fewer APs. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... That is a four. So a four, do I, where I have that, I want to place it here, which happens to be a four. Do I? Do I? Do I? No, I, eh. Hmm. So I did a different strategy this game, but I'm not sure if it was the thing that I should have done in hindsight. But... Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. I am not going to uh, spend this as an investment. So instead, I am going to go ahead and choose this for two action points. You don't need to keep track of the number of action points you've spent. Why? There will be empty spots, and you will be able to math. So there we go. So let's go ahead and show you all how this works uh, step by step, since it's the first time. All right, I have to pay the permit cost. The permit cost of this is going to be a one residential. I have a two residential. Good to go. You don't get change, but hey, I get it. So be it. All right. Done. Okay. And by the way, I did misspeak about the uh, prestige. You're not going to score that on that. That's only going to come into play for triggering these. We'll get there. So yeah. I apologize. So this permit is going to get discarded. I have now paid to be able to play this card. Then... I have to place an appropriate building. It's going to be a size one because there is one permit. So, and I have chosen that I will go ahead and put it right here. All right. So I then have to pay the cost. Two plus two plus zero plus zero for a total of four bucks. Hey, I am truly broke. I have paid that, done. Then I'm going to put one of my markers on there to show that I have uh, done so. I then get a neighborhood bonus. How many of that type am I adjacent to? That'd be one. I am running away with the game. One point. Done. Then acquire any list of vocations. There are none. And then uh, perform the building effects. If one of the rows has an empty wealth or prestige space, place the 10 wealth. Okay. Don't mind if I do. So now I have a choice. I could place it here, because that row, and that makes this 14, this makes this 18, or I could place it there, which makes those 14 or 15 respectively. Let's do that. That seems more fun, all right? Um, we'll see if that's a bad idea. I don't fully know yet. Uh, then remove the contract from the game. So I have built a house. I'm going to keep this over in my little play area to keep track of what I built. I have now spent two of my action points. Now, what else can I do? I can take any of these cards to place in my favor because I have no money, so I'm not building. Or I have four action points worth to grab some cards. And you know what? A four permit that gives us everything, and that is going to be three action points. That seems like a good idea to do. So that's done. And you know what's Good with that, that's three, that's four, five. Oh, hey, looky here. We'll take that into my hand as well. I am now done, that is all six action points. So now, on the back here, we'll just go through this step by step, but we won't need to after this. So slide the planning cards face up, all the way down. Now, we're going to, a moment, let me go ahead and show folks this as we go along. So give me just one second. Okay. As each of these permit cards come out, go ahead. If it has a ballot box down at the bottom, we would theoretically have an election. All right. An election has to do with this track over here and the dominant species cone right here. Oh, I have failed us right there. I have failed us again. There we go. It starts 
right here. Should we? No. The first, when we get all the way around the first time, so there is in a ballot box, we will move it to elect the district attorney. However, the first time around, we don't do anything. When the first time we hit elect mayor, we're going to elect the mayor. And what happens in that case? Well, election, give to the player with the most vocations, i.e. those little chits, of which Ken has the most right now. Uh, there you go, and the player with media breaks ties. Then, special rules. When you're elected mayor, place a one-lot park into any vacant lot and take control of it. Cool. And then the next time we come up, we elect the mayor again the next time we go around the table. Same rules, same thing. However, at the end of the game, the players that own the various political offices are going to gain points for each of certain things. This one is specific to your buildings adjacent to at least one park. However, there are others that gain for everything in play regardless of the owner, so keep that in mind. Plus, they have cool little rule breakers for each of them. But as it is, we don't need to worry about that for the first orbit. And every time a ballot box comes up, we will then have that election, but not on the first orbit. All right, so I've explained that. Go ahead, we flip one more. And then the six. Oh, and then all of the sixes. So, not all of. The six wealth row is going to be triggered. So we take a look, because these are wealth, these are prestige, the six on there is going to correspond to this row. We look at this row and we say who has the most buildings in that row. Well, you see it's a tie. We then come over and we look at our handy dandy little payout chart here and we're going to pay out that amount of wealth and or, or, or prestige. So it's six. Well, we're tied for first, so it's going to be nine rounded, not in your favor, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be four each. Four for white, four for green. Hey, we have some money. Third place would, but you've got to be present to participate. All right, so then we flip the next card, and now ballot box, we will then not do anything, but it did. And then the sevens. Seven came out or hasn't come out yet, so we skip it. Boom, done. Then we do the exact same thing over here, except we will trigger prestige markers if they're out. There will be no ballot boxes on this side, just so you know. Uh, so three. So we then look at these two rows. So here, two pink, one green, one white. So three is going to be three for first. So this is victory points for pink, because prestige, i.e. victory points. Then First place is tied, or second place is tied, and they get would get one. Divided in half is half. Rounded down is zero. Thank you for playing. Boom, done. That's that. Uh, move the first player marker, the, or the active player marker, but we really don't need that. So I've explained that. Shrey, your turn. We shouldn't need the book for anything else. Right. Okay. Done. All right. So I will, I will, I'm going to build the other house. because <laughs> Shocked. That seems think, like a good idea. Yeah. So um, uh, I'm going to throw this building permit away, even though it would fulfill the house because it is 12 money. Okay. And getting 12 money is awfully nice right now. So this so, is a, I'm using the investment, the first part of the turn, to take cash equal to the number on my planning card. So, so discarding that. All right. So that is the investment phase one. Phase two, you have six action points. Phase two, I'm going to, going to take this card and the, and the, uh, the house and build uh, the house w using this, this permit. So I discard this permit, uh, and I take a one size, um, uh, a one size purple building, uh, you know, residential building, and do I want the extra point or do I want it next to mine? I'll take the extra point. I could yeah. go right there, but I'm just gonna take the extra point. Yep. Um, and so that's going to cost me, oh, haha, <laughs> you made it better, didn't you? Better. Thank I, I damn sure yes. made it yes. more expensive. Right, so that's going to cost me 14. 10? Totally worth it, though. 12, 14. Yes. Good so thing you got to, that extra cash. This goes to 6. And one right. of your markers. Oh, yeah, right here. And I think we all know where that 9 is going. Awesome. I wonder. And that's going to be adjacent to 2. That's going to be 2, two points. points. Yep. No uh, vocation. No, no vocation. And the 9. Uh, so the night can go. It can't. So it can, there's only really one place it's allowed to go right now because right. It's, this is not empty. So it goes there, which is fine because hey, look, I have three buildings and nobody else has any buildings in that row. Might have wanted to do that. 
So that's four action points. Uh, so uh, I'm going to just. So I'm going to end up wasting an action point because I don't necessarily want. I could. I'm going to take this, uh, and I. That's why I could take the textile mill as a favor. For a future vocation, what's the text on it? Uh, you can discard a planning card if you do. Your opponent gives you one on one, and that, it gives just, you the that just shifts things. I'll, 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 I'll take it as a favor. Bank it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Done. Yep. Okay. And again, you always go left or right. The order of operations matters. There's a ballot box a ballot. and the three here. So tied for first. So two each. Two, each. two cash. Thank you. And done. Ta. Ten. And nothing. And ten. That's brutal. Oh, ten's out there. Sorry, my yeah, bad. So that's oh. seven each. So one, two, three. Seven one, each. two, three. Ten and five is fifteen. So seven each. I'll take it. That. I would like to say I had zero when I ended my turn. I would just like to point <laughs> that out. Okay. And then uh, second place. Oh, never mind. Yeah. All right. So those are done. Then these slide and fill. We have not seen any events yet because the events are seated a little bit lower in the deck. So there is only one event in the town deck, and that's the uh, airport. Airport, which triggers yeah. here. Yeah. There we go. All right, so the All motel right. and the post office have come out. Yep. Okay. Well, I do need a little bit more wealth, so I'm going to discard this card for 11 wealth. And to be clear, people can yeah, discard indeed. multiple. Yeah, could just if wanted to. Could if I wanted to, right. for sure. Yeah. So. And theoretically, this plays solo. Does it? Uh, apparently, there's a unofficial solo I've seen on huh. BGG. And people are saying they enjoyed it, too. Shrey says three. I don't know that I really want to play this four. Yeah, we can talk about it at the end. I, yeah. I, th I think two has... Two would go, you know, it would go fast, but I feel like there was there was there is a problem that I, I, I okay yeah three is probably the ideal the sweet spot for player count I think so, on okay. this yeah all right so I'm gonna take I'll take the bakery as a favor I will then take the apartments to build indeed um, so I'm gonna spend this card here, and I will build the apartments. The Bring apartments. it onto, onto the board yeah. right there. That this works. is a two lotter, as we mentioned. I'm gonna build it, oh golly, where do I wanna build it? I wanna build it. Mm, I don't, don't know if you have the cash for that. 13, oh, fifth, that's 15, no, oh, you have no, oh, you're 18. Yeah, he has Sorry. 18. You, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. 10, 3, and 2 for 15 drops you to 3. And an ownership marker adjacent to 2, which will be 2, two points. points. And what does it do, sir? You may give one of your planning cards to an opponent. Oh. So, actually, <laughs> what I really need to do is take another planning card. First. Yeah. Sure, yep. And then well, I'll that's the give, one that came from off the top of the deck. Damn. <laughs> I'll give a card to my friend Shrey. Oh, I thank you. You're so generous. <laughs> uh, and in exchange, he is nice enough to give me his apartment or a his house. Lovely, house. A lovely home. That is. I should have noticed that card and thought about it, but. Yep. It's hard to avoid when he uh, he could just. Adjacent yeah. to what you just yeah. built, you could have done that to me, but I think you chose the right player. Well, that was the more expensive one. Uh, definitely, it was the, yeah. the most expensive. Twenty nine, not, not that close. Oh, no, sorry, nineteen twenty three. Yeah, yeah. 23. it was twenty three value. Ten, nine, two, and two. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, I wish I had another action point to do something interesting with. I do not. Well, you, you spent five, but uh, but yeah. there's nothing you can spend one on right now. Correct. All right. Ballot. And the twos. And the two is this card. Here, and so that'll be two for first, so two bucks for green, and then they split one, which is zero. Yep. Yay. Done. And then these will move over. Airport. All right, so here we go. First event. 
and you know what? Here, if here, let me have that. It was that was fast. That's in the top. Um, yeah, here, just to show folks. Here we go. Uh, conduct immediate elections for the mayor, then the district attorney, then the treasurer, then the police chief, then the union boss. I misspoke when I said that earlier. But uh, remove from the game all town cards in one, two, three, and four AP spots, and the city deck is now active. So these go away, out of the game. And you know what? We're never going to make it through the deck. It's just not going to happen. So, we have elections first. So. Yeah, so it was, it was exactly the first card. Yeah. And that was, that was yeah. legitimate, pure randomness yeah. Yeah. on that. Yeah. So, we're going to have the mayor comes up first. Who has the most vocations? Uh, that would be media. And when the mayor happens, you place a one-lot park. And put an ownership marker. That's one valuable park. That is a, yeah, definitely. All right, there's the mayor. So next is going to be the DA. Uh, give to the player with the most valuable civ building. So civ buildings are going to be these two. And it's clearly going to be this one because nine, Not that close. three, and two is and going ten. to be, huh? And, and ten. ten. Oh, and ten. Yeah, my bad. So that is, we're going to use these little green markers to mark there what is the most lucrative. All right. So uh, the DA. And what does, you know what? Let's do this. The DA says double the neighborhood bonus for your first contract. So in other words, for adjacency, instead of scoring one, two, three, maybe four points, you'll double that. And gain a point for every sieve in play. So you get that. Needless to say, it's important to make sure one player doesn't get all of these throughout the game. So next is going to be the treasurer. Player with the most valuable commercial building. Most valuable commercial building is either that one Ooh. or this one. Oh. So this one is oh. 9, 13, 15. 15. I think this one's 16. And that is 16. Oh. Thank you. That will go there. So I will get the treasurer. At the start of your turn, each opponent pays you two bucks, provided they have it. Okay. Next is going to be the police chief. Police chief. Player with the most valuable resi uh, residential. And, uh, yeah, resi it's going to be this one. Yeah. Yep. There's just no, it just, yeah, we don't need to waste time on that. These will change as these markers come out, etc. cetera. Uh, you gain both wealth and prestige when you score for a vocation. Remember, it was an either or. Well, please, Chief, you get them both you want it, uh, for each of your vocation markers. And finally, we have the union boss, uh, the most valuable industrial building. It is seven and six, I think. Five, six, and that is going to be seven, correct? So it will go to Ken. You get eight action points instead of six, and then you gain points for every ind uh, industrial in play. So, All right. wow, That'll fit there's that. Fits there. Now, the contractor does not come into play until when? The Shrine? sports team. Until the sports team comes out. So we this will hang out. But you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. Every election, give to the player with the least prestige. It's a catch-up mechanic, okay? Then, when uh, building a contract, you can demolish one or more existing buildings underneath where you're building. That can be really, really nasty. And your buildings are immune from that. So keep that in mind. Okay. So, we have had the elections. We've cleared these. But now, the city deck is in play. So what does that mean? The city deck will take... Per the railroad lines, okay, we do, the, when an event comes out, we stop, so the airport, again, not going to bother, we'll just put that, because we're never going to make it through that. So, we have a new event, the event says, uh, the player with media gains one and one, you're going to hear that a lot, so one and one, all players except for the treasure, hi, lose two points for every com uh, commercial two, building, two wealth, uh, two wealth, sorry, uh, for every commercial building they own. So uh, two for me and four for Shrek? Yep. 
Stop losing money that you might have to pay to me. Then I uh, get down to zero, so I don't have to pay the treasure. This goes out of the game yeah. as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Which again, we're never going to make it to the bottom of that. Next, another event. The event says labor strike. Player media one on one. <sighs> it's a lot better when you have that. Union boss. Selects one vocation marker other than media that is currently owned by another player. That player loses the chosen vocation. We do not have... Oh, I'm sorry. The union boss. Who it's is... Ken. Is and, Ken. And he has the only vocation in the game. And, uh, and media is specifically excluded anyway. So Yeah. Um, so that's moot. Yeah. Yep. All right. You know what? We're just... I'm not going to do this every time. So there. By the way, uh, five came out. Yeah, five's not out. Four came yeah. out. Didn't. Three came out. Three's out. So uh, that'll be three points for pink and, and, and nothing. nothing. One is going to be one for yours truly. Yay, because two versus one, one. Nope. And, oh, and then, oh, and then deck. Right. that deck flips, and there's nothing here. And then the town deck is now only going to be those two spots. And another point Look. for green. I like this. Thank you. Church and... Nothing. Kindergarten. Okay. That is the end of Ken's turn. Okay, so it's now my turn. It's 30 your turn. Everybody pays me two bucks. There you go. Oh, there's two. Just enough to pay. And you. there's two. And one, two, three, four. Thank you very much. All right, there we go. All right. Get so those commercial buildings out there. Let's go. So what do we have? I mean, we've wiped, so here we go again. Um, so, strip mall, two for every commercial. The tech manufacturer, you can discard a building permit if you do gain wealth equal to its payout value and gain prestige equal to the number of permits of that card. Ooh. Ooh. And it's a vocation, which is always nice. That works well with that because I have one that works for it. So that would get me ten bucks. That works with leader. The factory, yeah, right? leader, leader in the clubhouse right there. So that's my Ooh. favorite so far. Theater players pay you two bucks for every uh, residential they can they control. Not a great one to play right now. Not so much, uh, but good good to bank it possibly. Yep. The uh, the trekking company says players pay you two for every industrial they have plus transportation five. And the hospital, uh, public service one, eh. players uh, pay you two bucks for each different type of vocation they own. Again, not great right now because nope. there's only one type out. Then the church, for each residential they control, they choose to pay you either one cash or one prestige. And kindergarten, uh, education one and adjacent res uh, residential gain a point each. That is the owners gain one each. So you know what? Let's keep it simple. I will take that for four into my hand, and then I will go ahead and build the tech uh, manufacturer there. So it requires a three industrial, and because I had taken it earlier, I will go ahead and there we go. I will discard this one. I'm skipping my investment step. So I have paid that. So it's going to be a three uh, industrial. And we have, we're pretty deep. We got 19 bucks. Um, just can't basically build in those two, but I couldn't anyway. Um, yeah, there's nothing on the nine row you could build on because of adjacency. You could build in the 10 row here, here, or you could build somewhere cheaper. Right. I'm not in that row at all. So, 15, that's 17. Oh, nope, nope I can't, can't I can't do either of those. Because, yeah. oh, oh, I could. No, no, no. Nope, because it's still adjacent. I cannot build in either of those, yeah, damn it. Old row's locked out for yep. you. Yep. Okay, well. Hmm. Do we do something like this for six? 
I could place it there, but I don't like the idea of putting all of it in one. Yeah, that's fine. Or do we go there for seven? No, I can't. So it's either there or there. Yeah, I'm good with that. So I will build there. That's going to be six bucks. That cost me. Put an ownership marker on it. And I get the factory four. You get a neighborhood bonus. Oh, neighborhood bonus first of one. One point. Okay. And then I get the factory vocation four. This is the only fact or factory vocation that immediately I choose four bucks or four points. And I'm about to get 10 bucks and two points. It's, money's important, let me go and take the four bucks right now. So there, that's my choice for the vocation. Then I can discard a permit. I choose to discard this one right here. It has two permits and its value is 10. Put it right there so you all can see it, there we go. Uh, if you do gain the wealth equal to its payout value, that'd be 10 bucks. So I will take 10 there. And then uh, gain prestige equal to number of permits. There are two, so I'll gain two points there. So that will get discarded. I have built a house and a tech manufacturer. That is six. We are done. Four. And the fours here will be one and one, and that is uh, six. So three each. Three each. And three. Two of which is just going to go to uh, Edward. Well, very, if, very well, maybe. I mean, it's at the beginning of my turn, remember. Oh, right, right, yes. And the two, so here, one, two, three, four pink, two green, two white. So it's going to be four for first, so four points for pink. Two. And then, two points uh, for pink, right? Sorry? Two points. Oh, yeah, for yeah, pink. two points, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's two. I apologize. And then zero, zero. for yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. For some reason, I, I was looking at the four. I would love to have four. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right, yeah. done. Here we go. Okay, so. Factory zero. I have 12 money, which is not a lot. So I think I need to discard this card that Ken so gratefully gave me for 10 bucks. Yeah. It's worth it. Uh, 22. Now. My back is killing me. Mm. Don't mind me. I'm good. Going into my goodie bag of drugs that I keep in the studio. It's Advil. It's far less exciting drugs than. So I'm definitely going to build a theater. Is that what the set says? Yeah. Theater, yeah. Um, which I can do with this. Mm hmm. And here, I'll just. It's easier to just show folks at a glance. There you go. That's what it's going to be. Okay. All right. I do each of must pay you. I mean, that gets me that the, my text animal gives me a a vocation. No free up that slot or players pay you now. Yeah, the other cards are so so. Um, so yeah, I will I will build this theater with. I'm gonna need a blue for this. So will you will build? We'll use this one. And then we're gonna need another planning card. So I have enough, okay. So I will use this building permit to build this. It's gonna be a level two commercial. Okay. It's a level two commercial. Um, so, it's been inspired right there. All right, so, hmm. I have 22, so I'm not go, I could build in the nine row or I could build in the 10 row. The 10 row would only, uh, neighborhood bonus is ideal since I get it doubled, um, but I can't get in the 10 row if I want double neighborhood bonus. <laughs> there is that. So, what is the most, ex and this is the most expensive. Mm -hmm. So, right, so I kind of want to compete with that. Unfortunately, who breaks the tie for the treasure? Oh, damn it, why didn't I build it up? No, I couldn't, never mind. Yeah, I could have. Ah! I should have. I'm not looking at the most expensive. Who, who breaks the tie for the treasure? Uh, the DA. All right, so then. You. Yeah, so I should build right here. So this is going to cost me 10 plus 3 plus 3, so 16. So I go to six. six. Yeah. And I'll put an ownership marker on it. I get neighborhood bonus, which is uh, one, but since I'm a DA, it doubles, so I get two points. For the first one built, yeah, it doubles. One. For the okay. first one each each turn. Um, there's no vocations on the card. 
uh, put on the effects. Please pay you two for each residential they control. So, oh, Ken's only, oh, Ken doesn't have enough money. <laughs> so I owe, I have two, so I owe four bucks. Yeah. You gain four bucks. Ken has one, two, three, He's so he good. owes you I six. Four. I have four. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, so he owes you I eight bucks, yeah. but he can only pay four. Oh. I'm sorry, Shrey. So you can only gain. I did one give you that half. planning card, though. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like I gave you ten. All so right. that's done. So that's my and theater. that's two APs. And um, it didn't sound sincere. By the way, over under on Glory to Rome's four and a half tonight. All right. So I'm going to build this text IML that was in my favors um, with this building permit. Or do I, yeah, this is. The, I have to use this one. Okay. Um, so it is uh, a two size blue. Thank are you, you. going to take a? Are you going to take a planning card so you can trigger the power? Oh right, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've spent two, so I could take a. I'm, I'm going to basically take take two planning cards. So I could take a, a one and a three or a one and a two. Yep. Um, I'm going to take the one and the two because they're more money. I got you. Got it. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to discard this one. Sorry, let me put the put the tile down first. Um, Ten, fourteen, sure. Sir Hobbs new here. Franny, I'll let you take care of that. All right. So we're going to do this. So it's going to cost me 10 plus 1 plus 3, which is 14, which is exactly what I have. Delightful. Um, and I don't think delightful means what you think it means, but okay. And since, since, it's, since it's by itself, not no adjacent to anything bonus. else, there's no number no, no, no bonus, but I don't have to worry about the zoning restrictions because normally you have to build next to a, a blue, yep. uh, the, the same color, but since it's not adjacent to any other colors, it can You're go safe. by itself. Yep. Yep. And um, so that's built there. Um, I will. I take a factory two, so that will pay out. I will take two prestige. Prestige since oh, I don't. You know what? I like. Hey, I said we keep it on the boards by oh, our markers right. right there. So yeah. I will take two prestige since that I don't want to give. Um, you know, I don't get any money, so Edward can. I take will, it and I take either prestige or money, and I like money. Done. Okay. And then. I can discard this to get two points and one money. <laughs> two points is two points. Yep. So I will discard this. Or not that, but you have to discard a permit. Yeah, discard yeah, a plan. Right. Discard. A, it says you may discard a planning card. So I discard this planning card. If you do, each opponent must pay you one wealth and one prestige. So you're really getting two points and zero money. Well, Edward has Edward has money. Uh huh. But you're going to pay it back to him on the start of his turn. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure. Yeah, but... Yeah, it still might be worth it. It's, it's basically, I'm, I'm just getting two points. Right. And yeah. you're taking you're taking points from us and gaining right. it. Yeah. So it's a four-point right. swing. Yeah, yep. so I, I will know. still do that. All um, right, so we each lose a point. You gain two points, and I lose a temporarily buck, and you get a buck. A dollar. Yeah. yeah, temporarily, exactly. All right, done. And wait, hang on, so that's... I could take that card. What is you that could. card again? Uh, the strip mall players pay you two bucks for every commercial they control. You're the one that has all the commercial buildings. You are yeah. the commercial magnate. I, I mean, I guess I, you, you would could get take it two bucks. I could, I could take it defensively. Um, but then you have to build it. Remember, there's no getting rid of your favors. Yeah. Um, it's a friendly way to say go fornicate with yourself, Sir Hob. No, I'll leave it. Okay. Done. So what do we got? Election. Mayor. All right. So now we have an election for the mayor. And the mayor says, what? Uh, most, so it's... Most vocations. Uh, most vocations. One. Player with one, media breaks one. tie. I think I'll keep it. Okay, yes. yeah, sure. All right. Park. Uh, okay. I will place and a park. Special rule is every time. Thank you, Friday. <whistles> and Corey. Um, I think it was right there, maybe. Remember these, that these count towards. Yeah, but only one yeah, per. Yeah. So, so that this building will only trigger on one for this and that. 
Yeah, but you don't. The most the most valuable park isn't something that. Well, no, he's talking when about nine and ten fire. When, when nine and, and ten fire, yes, yes, it is a building. Yes, so, okay. yeah, there is. Got that. it. Okay. Yeah. Done. All right. So that was the three. mayor, and the threes. One, two, one, two, three. So white will get three. Uh, here's some more money for you to bucks. take for me. Thank yeah. you. I, I appreciate that. And one, one for pink. Yeah, again, it's very temporary. Okay. And again, just FY. Let me here. So this is clear to everybody. What we're referencing is whenever we say, okay, hey, he's in first with three. We're looking at this first place. We'll get three money or points. Second place, we'll get that or add and divide and round down, et cetera. Okay. Yeah. And All it's right. pretty easy to guess, right? Like it's yeah. the first place is always the face value. Second yeah. place is always half rounded down. Right. So, so there you go. Yeah. And then the five came out, which is this column. So it's oh, cool. Five bucks for me. Good. And second place gets two. There we go. There we All go. Right. And, and these will slide. This does not because that is towny. Yep. And this is city. Oh, we have a flood. A moment. And hey, media. Glory to Rome, the media, because that's yeah. three of those have come out already. <laughs> three points and three bucks. But hey, good news. Three bucks, who cares? Three points? Yes, that, that, that is. Okay, so now <laughs> what happens with this, okay? Uh, okay, over under, meaning how many do you think we're going to do? Over or under it. On the three prestige road, destroy all buildings with the lowest value. Okay, on the three, the lowest I think is probably going to be, that's that going to be four. That's five, yeah, it's going to yeah. be, or no, that's way more than yeah. that. So destroy that one, then... Owners can pay three bucks or three prestige to avoid the destruction. The mayor loses nine if any building is destroyed. So being mayor is a bit of a double-edged sword in this case. So three bucks or three points. I think he's fine giving you three money. Yeah, definitely not nine points. Yeah, so, so there. So he prevented that from happening. Done. Okay. And... Oh boy! Oh, and, and now there's flood, an earthquake. No, earthquake. <laughs> well, I mean that kind of so, media in the wrong again. order. Hey, look at that. Media. Okay. okay. So on the one prestige road, destroy all buildings with lowest value. Owners can pay nine or nine. The mayor loses three these, points. Is it these right? One five. Whereas the everything this is six, and everything else over here is higher. So it's these three. Yep. So pay nine or nine. To avoid, it's all and it's all three of these. Yes. Is it the mayor? Does the mayor lose also? If the mayor loses, loses three, three points if, any. if anything's destroyed. Mm. Oh, so wait, can you read it again? What does it say? On the one prestige road, destroy all buildings with the lowest value. Owners pay nine bucks or nine prestige to avoid so, a building. So in terms of decision making process here, right? Um, who, what order are we going to? I, since I'm the active player. You're the active player. You dictate. But it you doesn't say. But you don't have to. You, you, none of your buildings are at risk. Right. right? So I just have but to But he gets order, to dictate. The order of the buildings that have to be decided upon. I think you ought to start with the mayor. Yeah. Yeah. So that you can have the opportunity to make decisions. Pay nine bucks, which you don't have, or nine points. No, I, I'm not going to pay nine points. Let's so destroy, okay, is you. it destroy the building or remove it the ownership? It says destroy. Uh, destroy all buildings. So, yeah, that goes away. So then you're going to lose three points because you are mayor. Yep. One, two, three. So now, individually, nine and nine. I'm obviously not losing nine start points. Start small one. Um, well, I'm saving this for nine bucks. Okay. So we go down to 20. Is it worth saving the other? Because he doesn't lose any more points. Is it worth saving it? Because it only costs six to rebuild it, nine to save it, but it costs action points, yada, 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 and all that. And what? which is the industrial, uh, who has the industrial? Union boss. The union boss? I currently, eight, eight, I currently eight, eight, have eight, it, eight, but, but Shrey will have it when, because when it's elected yeah. again. Because it's the most valuable? Mm-hmm. Which is that one, yeah. so we technically ought to move oh, that yeah. there. And this is tied right now. Uh, 
I mean, that helps keep the lead on the one buck. Mm. <laughs> uh, I already have it on the five. All right, it goes away. I hate losing stuff, yeah. though. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. If I'd have had $9, I think I would have spent it, but... That was the... Uh, I did not. All right. Is okay. Hurricane? <laughs> it's an earthquake know? flood. Oh, college. College. All right, there we go. All right, Three. so... So it's a tie for, for Prestige Pass. If you get a fire, okay. so, it's so that's two a two and two. Each. You have okay. to play Lisboa. Yeah. That's fine. Nice. All right. Oh, oh, the events are they are ruthless. But these usually will be a one or will be a one time use. These there will be a shuffle card. So yeah. there's that. The events for these are further down in the deck. Yeah. All right. So that was the active player Shrey. Yeah. It is Ken's turn. Hey, there we I go. think Ken has to do something for you, right? Does he? Since you're a treasurer. No. Oh it's no, it's just on your my turn. turn. I, don't, I don't know why right. I keep thinking yep. it's it's on his turn. Um you pass? You choose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I know I'm going to do that. So I, I'll go ahead and do this while I'm at it. Uh, 11. Yeah, to get 13 total money. Um, Why 13? He's, he paid, discarded his uh, investment. That's 11. But he went to 13. Oh, to 13. Yeah. Sorry, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I was confused. So I can build any of these. Boy, that transportation is slightly less exciting now that Edward doesn't have uh, one of his two industries. But it's still not bad. Transportation 5 is pretty tasty. Oh, the trucking company yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Pretty tasty. Yeah, I would pay two bucks less. So that, yeah. that I think that was the right choice. I think. I don't feel great about it, but I think so. Hmm, strip mall is would be better if Shrey had more money. <laughs> Hospital is not great right now because there's not a lot of vocations out. Construction firm, one of their planning cards. Well, that would just be annoying. <laughs> um, but that is a sort of interesting play. Um, is that a factory zero or an eight? I can't tell. A factory zero, which okay. is that's that part's not that part's not that cool. Um, yeah, college. I don't think I really can do not effectively. Uh, education for non-park buildings on those rows. Non-park buildings on those rows. This has got to change. That is ugly. Yeah. That is horrible. I hate that. Um, <laughs> Earthquake, flood, and college. They keep getting more and more expensive. That's <laughs> so true. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Oh, that's my built building. Um, yeah, let's go with trucking company. So we're going to take the, the, uh, the least expensive there. And the trucking company. And here, here's the trucking company yep. for. So there we go. Okay. So you pay. I will pay that. The one he just took. Yep. And I want to see if I can maximize and spend like exactly thirteen. Can't. Oh, and I can't build it where I was thinking I could build it because. Yeah, this is 15. Yep, and I can't build it anywhere in that next block because it's it's inevitably adjacent yeah. to that. Yeah, to block. that, right, yep. Yep, that's too bad. That's no, a you, shame. you cannot build on the nine block. You could. Yeah. You can build on the five block. 10, you could build on the, no, you can't build on the two, on the 10. Could you build here? No, you can't. Nope. Can you build here? No, I it's, build it's cheaper. I could but build it, here. Why couldn't I build yeah, here? You could, you, you could, but you're not on the 10 of the 9 block. Oh, if, no. if, if that's your goal. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. If I, I think that goal is just not going to happen. No, I don't think it's possible. Uh, wait, oh, 10, 12, 13. Oh, but it, then it's an adjacency yeah. problem. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, we haven't seen any cards that say this, but some of the cards have modifications to the to the um, zoning yes. laws. Yes, says you uh, don't have to... You don't have to follow the zoning right. laws or have to be built next to the water or the wilderness. Or the forest, I think. It, it's wilderness, 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 yeah. Wilderness. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So I guess I'll build 
there. So that's going to be nine all day. Yep. Four. Ownership marker. And you get three bonus. Uh, two, two. Two. Not adjacent to this one, just yep. adjacent to those. Okay. Yep. And then I get two dollars for from you guys. For transportation each. first. Oh yeah, transportation five. So I will. And you get take, both. Right. Uh, is he? I do. I do indeed get both. So that's five. Yes, police and chief. Yeah. Five for the police chief because you get both. Uh, yep. And so each of you guys is going to owe me $2, basically. Yeah. Two for this, two for this. Yep, so that's two and two and, and two. four. All right, okay. done. So that's three APs. Three Give me a Put them face up and over there. There sure. you go. So you don't keep them, get them confused. Yep. Uh, so... Uh. Oh, you have no building permits. So odds are... It's Should going probably to be one take of a those. building permit, yeah. He and could, boy, he, four he, is not a lot of wealth, so I don't know why I wouldn't just take the two, which is quite a bit more flexible. You, and you can build the bakery if you want. If you want to, or you could. I could, and then I could, I suppose, pocket the strip mall. Hmm, that's interesting. That's not such a bad idea, actually. Okay, let's do that. So, um, building the building the bakery. All right, so he's paying the card they just got. All right, so it's going to be a two commercial. <sighs> and a two size commercial, yeah. You have 13, 13. money. Sadly, still not still quite enough not to build that no. nine row. Yep. <laughs> Seven, nine. Yep. This one's better from a points perspective. It gives you three points, so that'd be seven bucks. You could also do this and get in on the five row. Since yeah. you just got kicked out of the five Probably row. Probably worth it. So Since six down to seven. Points. So you get Marker. two points. And yep. two points because adjacent to both of those. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it bring it onto the board. Yep. So and far. then there you go. Uh, players pay me uh, one wealth for each civic building they control. So one money down for me and one for you and, and one or one one down for Shrey uh, where oh it's right here yeah. there it is just trying to show and then players also pay me one for each commercial building they control so that's going to be just Shrey two, I'm only going to get one out of that yep. sadly but I'll look at that and it cost me two bucks yep there all right go. and the bakery goes away uh, bakery goes away that's five APs and I'll go ahead and stash the strip mall I appreciate it because that gives me it does. stuff I don't gets, want. You get a little bit more. Don't flip that yet, though. But okay. all right, nothing. Nine. So that just uh, slid down, right? Yeah. So the nine. God, that sucks. No, it's so the nine here is going to be three. So nine bucks for uh, nineteen. It gives me two of it at least. Yeah. And it half is going to be four. So it'll, it'll give you. It'll give you my two here. Right. And, yeah, yeah. You will get four. And out of one it. more flip. Five. Here, one and one, so five and seven, three each. Uh, four. Three for pink and green. Now you see why we don't actually use chips. This just makes so much yeah. more sense. Yeah. So college conveyors down. Scandal. Ooh. Hit me with Scandalous. some media. And media. shocker. Media. <laughs> all of the all the events in the in the city and metropolis deck do that. Yeah. Media. All players except for the DA, hey, which is me. Shrey, lose two for each civic building they it's have. It's only this one. Yep. Uh, great, so I lose two points. Whee! <laughs> uh oh. Eminent domain. Hey! Media. Media! All right, the DA, so Shrey, oh. may take any one available contract as a favor. If he does, any favor he currently has is removed from the game. Now, we technically stop at that point, so this is what's available. Well, I assume it's this, not oh, yours. Okay. Yeah, All no, right. no, not from us, okay. but that's available out there on the board. I don't mind that one. What's oh, okay? guys, I had eight action points. You did. Oh, you had two more. Sorry. What else were you going to do? If I could take a build permit, I probably would. 
Right, and you would have been able to take... So those... These, no, these two These two were out, there. So you would have been able to take... And Could have taken... You had two that points. That I think, right? Hold on. There were two... Nope. It was here. Mm. Okay. Huh. Yeah, you had built both of the first two. You'd taken the one and the two. Technically, yeah, yeah, it, was, it, was it was like, like that. that. Yeah. So I wonder... Would you guys be okay if I trade this back and get a build permit instead? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's fine. Just sure. just you know. Yeah, that's fine. First, first so it would have been there. Yeah. So no, no harm, no foul. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Because right. which is it? Right and there. Union else, boss. Nothing else. No, I, so technically, this happens, which is an election, which is okay. DA. So an election. All right. So the DA happens before but this. It happens. Yeah. You still have. I'm it, still. I, I still remain DA because yeah. it is still this building. Okay. So no harm, no foul. Then that just happened. And so the eight, stop. The eight, which is not out there, but that's fine. Now, hold on. He gets to do the, the DA, event, which yeah. he can take a building permit. Yeah. So stop. Okay. So there. before, yep, that's before good. we yep. mayor. Which okay, might be the college, because it's not bad. Uh, I don't like the strip mall. Can you read me the uh, other two down there? Construction firm. Factory zero. You can discard a planning card if you do. Every opponent has to give you one of them. Mm -hmm. And the hospital is public service one. Players pay you two bucks for each different type of vocation they own. Now, I'll take the college. And the college is education for non-park buildings on these rows gain two points apiece. Although, hmm, I'm going to need Celebrity home? Need money. And sports team came out. Wow, weird. Okay. This is, we were this is way it. faster. And that is just randomness of the draw. Give the contractor the player with the least prestige, which is yours truly. So I get that. Okay? Okay? There. Uh, remove the one, two, and three, and the Metropolis deck is in play. So those three go away. Wow, that, okay, this is drastically different Very than different. what our yeah. last game was. All right, we have Fairgrounds. So the fair. hey, media, the contractor, yours truly, places a four-lot park into the city grid, and the mayor takes control of it. Thank you. So somewhere not next to where Him. Ken's buildings are. Right. Yeah. Like in a two value spot, like right there. Uh, but the thing is, I'm trying to look at what the lowest value. I want you to lose buildings, which right now are those. Yeah. Like. I mean, I could do something like this. That would give you a fourth there for the nine. Mm. That's the only problem with that. That is a problem. And it gives, puts me in the lead for fives as well, which I would endorse. Screw it. Yeah. I think that'll, that'll work. And choke on it. All right, good. So the fairgrounds is done. Right. I'm not bitter. Yes, I am. All right. Three. Uh, tractor works. So three points because it's three row. Yep. So three and then one for you. One. This is not going well. Uh, the cemetery, nothing. The corporate HQ is twos, which is five for, so two and one for nobody because tied two yep. and two. All right. Uh, concert festival. One on one for me. <laughs> Contractor places the two lot park onto the city grid, and the mayor takes control of it. Wow. How about this in this is, area over here? Uh, I like I like where your head's at, and in fact, we will do that. Oh man, go it's ahead. Like reforestation over there. Right. It's uh, yeah, it's yeah, encroaching from the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. By the way, that will okay. We have a fire, uh, and apparently, we're going into Lisboa. One and one for media. This is sick. On the two prestige row. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, two prestige. Destroy all buildings with lowest value. Six and six, and the mayor loses six if anything. Unfortunately, I don't have. I would love to destroy a building right there, so I can't lose a six. But it's not gonna so there you go. So you pay six or six, or you lose another six points. So sounds like I should pay six. Six okay. money or prestige? It's definitely six money. <laughs> Just checking. Thanks for the option. Survives Appreciate it. Appreciate you so looking out for there me. There and there. Okay. The drugstore, the six, not is out. not out. 
and luxury hotel done. All right. All right. So Quite it's my a turn. It was my turn. Uh, I'll take two bucks each. So you are green. So you get four more and two. two. And there we go. All and right. You are the contractor, and you have a lot of money to spend. And I can destroy yeah. uh, anything I build on top of. It has to has to obey, obey zoning restrictions after it's built, and that's important. Nineteen. 21, 23, do I have, I have 23, so I can build the cemetery right on, there. Right yeah, there. Sure can. Okay. Leader in the clubhouse with looking at nothing else just <laughs> for that. <laughs> Each player with more prestige than you has to give you four and four. Oh my. So everybody. Has to give you what? Four and four. Four and four. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, hard so to pass that two. up. So here, I'll spend the two AP for that. Yeah. And I will take the cemetery. Sounds like four. Uh, so, yeah. So, there. Ignore zoning restrictions. Notice right there. Um, so, I just paid it. It's going to be a two. And because I'm the contractor, it's really hard to pass that up. Yep. It's the right, I think, absolutely I think it's the right, the right thing yeah. to do, right? Um, plus, it gives me that. Highest residence, yeah. Right. So, there. Those are destroyed. Yep. And again... This is a game in which just don't get butt hurt. It's just, it's nothing personal. Right. It's, that's just urban sprawl. Yeah. All right. Then, each player with more prestige wait, than you. Neighborhood bonus first. Oh, you, you get thank you. two points. Uh, three. Three, sorry, yeah. Three points for that, for the neighborhood bonus. No vocation. And then, everybody, because they have more than me, gives me four and four. Well. So, I give you four prestige. Okay. And okay. four back here. Yep. And that'll so be eight. eight. To 14, thank you. And then four is six total. Yeah, so be 30. Four and two. two. Uh, that was annoying. That was Glorderome for me ha. for for that four points. But technically, I had to pay for that 10, 19, 21, 23, which yep. I did have yeah, it did we have established. Yep. And so that actually. You had one extra seven. dollar. There yep. you go. So, cemetery. Uh, I mean, I'm happy that you took it down because that building was obnoxious and Ken has. Yeah. Doing well, yeah. but, but, for, yeah. That one, I'm lasting prestige. Have a good night, Carla and Gusarino, and hi, Jess. Um, all right, well, so that, that two felt more, good. Two more APs? Yes. Um, and I we build? No, you can't build. Okay. I do have oh, this. You could combine it with this to build that. I don't know. I could, the tractor works. So the tra you can discard a planning card if you do take a transportation vocation. You wouldn't be able to discard a planning card, though, because you wouldn't have. But one. I could bank it. You could bank it, yeah, you could. Which, that's pretty good. Yeah, two vocations is pretty solid. That's and that would be the only other transport that's available right now. That's hard to pass up. So two, four, five, taking yeah. that, and six. I'll go ahead and bank that bad boy right there. Done. These will slide. What do we got? Election and so election first. Uh, treasurer. Uh, most valuable commercial. So it's these two. Tied. So if tied and there is a I believe it's most Quantity of commercial is the first tiebreaker. It says the oh, DA right. breaks yeah. the tie, but I believe yeah, there is a. There is a it's, it's um, this treasurer. Yeah. Uh, it's it's on the next page. Thank you. Okay, if there's a tie, the tied player owning the greatest number of commercials. Right. So that's, so that's, that's me. Yeah. Is Shrey? So Shrey is now the treasurer. Okay. I'm just gonna guess. You just gonna pass that around. <laughs> and the eight is not Let's out. Keep paying you. Keep going. Right? Four. And the four here it's is... two each. Uh, yes. So it's three each, actually. Because you get first and... We four and split two, first yeah, and second. Three yeah. Oh, yes, thank you. Three yeah. and three. Okay, and then slide, slide. There might have been better stuff, just to be clear, but that was ju that yeah. just seemed too good. It looked pretty good And to I me. didn't even bother reading the rest, so... Uh, we have The Heights. Isn't that a show? Wasn't it from the 90s, right? All right. Hey, we need to quit this. Media, one-on-one. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Did it. Yeah, right. All right. And <clears throat> the mayor selects the block with the highest value. Okay, so figure so out the highest block. it's literally the block with the highest value, which is going to be this one. And this the one? players gain four and four for every building they control in that block. Which one? It's going to be this yeah. one. All right. So white and pink each get four and four. Yeah, that's fun. And by fun, I mean sucks. There we go. There goes the heights. Pfft, tear that card up. Okay. 
We have the plaza. And we have the stock market. Finance 8, public service 1. Oh, so that was your turn, right, Edward? Uh, that was. And uh, AJT uh, says, I don't know if it's been mentioned. It hasn't. But there used to be a website or spreadsheet that would automatically calculate block values. It was really helpful at the end of the game. And maybe it's yeah, in the BGG we, files. I think there was a couple of uh, spreadsheets on the BGG website. And these just like Excel macros to do that. Um, yeah, if if we had it, like I think there was also a website. I don't know if it's still active, but like having like a tablet with that might might, sure. might, might be good. But it's eh. I think we're doing fine. Yeah, I think when so. when the game like if the game had a ton more stuff on it, uh, maybe it would become an issue. But I think this is so night and day about how quickly, yeah. and that is just because of how high those were in the decks. Yeah. Which that's right. It could have been like eight or eight. Eight cards lower mm -hmm. in the respective yeah. decks. Yeah. So the game ends when the uh, Olympics comes out in this deck. Yeah, so this, just is, that this is a very, very, very different game. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So, um, so, oh yeah. So first, I'm treasurer. So I will take. I will happily take two. One, two, three, four. Back two. Um, choke on it. Can you can you read me the? Uh, sorry, All right. Corporate HQ. Finance six. Gain four bucks for every four lot commercial and three lot. Gain three, so no. Uh, luxury hotel. And it, you, it's not even you gain three. It's people who own yeah, the three. Yeah, lot which there three. is none. No, there's well, no, 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 one, the, first, the first part is me. the first part is the person who builds it. The second part, part is, is everybody. Every, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all civs gain four each, and pay, players pay you four for each pol politician and contractor they control. Yeah, hmm. So four bucks a piece. That's sixteen that's between terrible. us if it's available. Uh, the plaza, public public service one, ignores zoning restrictions. If one of the rows has an empty wealth or prestige place, you may place any one of the three prestige markers. Hmm. So oh. four, five, or six out there, uh, whether they are already in play or not. So if these were out, you could just move it. The stock market, finance, eight, which are the most lucrative, perform immediate payouts for all wealth and prestige markers on the rows where you build that. All right. All right. There you go. So I need to I need to take that plaza. So how am I going to do that? Um, I only have a single permit. That That's all you flying. need. Only, only it's only a one lotter. Uh, but I will. I'm also thinking about this. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I. So yeah. So let's do that with this permit. Okay. So here you go. Here. So you just paid it. Good. So you get to build a. Actually, before I before I do this, I don't want to be hasty. I might want to discard this first for money because that would take me to 18 money. And if I want to build it, let's see, in this area, I will need that money, and I can take that card. So that'd be four. Yeah. All right. I'm going to discard this for money first. So that's seven bucks to 18. And then I'm going to take this one. And to immediately to discard it, it for yep. the plaza. Yep. There we go. So zoning restrictions ignored. You get that. Oh, I, 31, I think. Mm. 31 or 32. Yeah. Give them 32, and if yeah. we need to back no, it up. No clue where it was. Yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was, one, was, of was one of those, yeah. All right. Sorry, I didn't realize somebody had turned the corner. <laughs> yeah. If someone, if someone uh, on the stream wants to check if this yeah, was Yeah, they, they will. 31, 32, 33. Um, all right. Um, so, ignore zone restrictions. So, that's nice. So, I could still place it, Yeah. like, here, maybe. But if I had enough money to do, I don't have enough money to put it here. So if I place and it here. 14? Let me just think for a second. That is 14, then you're going to place one of these You know, there. I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it here. And really? I didn't know it was a team game. Just thinking for a second. Um, He's trying to put it in a place where he can like lock it up, lock it up. Well, no, this isn't going to affect the, the value of... Um, this isn't going to become the most expensive. I'm just thinking about other things. Oh, there's other considerations to. Sure. No, I hear you. But if you put it in a place where you can really lock up the six, the six prestige spot, that's handy. Right. Yeah. So it will be here. So ignore zoning restrictions. That's going to yeah. be a total of fourteen bucks. So I go to four. Yep. Put a marker here. That's 14. This one is going to be way higher, so yeah. that doesn't change it. Yeah. And then you can place, I assume, well, the I six. Pub public service. Public service one. Which? A point or a... Uh, I need the money. A money. Okay. And I assume the six is the one you're going to choose. Yeah. Okay. So that is the plaza done. Okay. Thank you. You two APs left? Uh, one... 
four, and you only have six. Uh, so I literally can only do that because I cannot take either of those because, because I have you a, have a, a yeah, favor. So, there you go. so I will yep. take the, that building permit. We haven't seen events from this deck yet. We have not, which is really strange. So, uh, all right, police chief. Which is, is that? Most valuable residential, so it's Hi. Edward. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so uh, I gain both wealth and prestige when scoring a vocation. That's nice, okay, mm -hmm. all right, cool. All right, and then 12 is not out. Hey, here's our first event. Or our first event from the planning. Right, and there are 14 of them in there. Yeah, Entrepreneurs, they're, they're the player players with the most commercial buildings, which I'm pretty sure it's commercial Shrey. yellow is still yeah, Shrey. It would have been tied it's three and three. that earthquake. And this goes into that because yeah. there will be a shuffle at some point, which yeah. this is, sh I'm shocked at how quick this is moving. Yeah. It's so drastically different. And, and another ballot. election. Union boss. Union boss. Union boss. going to be Shrey. Uh, which is what? Industrial. Which is that yeah. one we've determined. There we go. Bring, yeah. Uh, and uh, scoot your whole thing. I hate losing those action bit. points right before my turn. That's yep. brutal. There we go. Cool. It was on 32. Thank you, Brianna. Okay. All right. Uh, so that was that. That was that, yep. No, that okay, so over. this will move over. And we have one. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. No, uh, zero. Anything. Nope. Housing projects. Adjacent residential. Lose four points each. <laughs> Fun. Oh. <laughs> Don't you dare. I'm in last. Don't you dare look at that. So what's um, interesting about the, the way the decks are structured is that the, the, the swinginess that people, the chaos that people see <coughs> is typically in the last deck. Um, in the in terms of the plan, in terms of the contracts is in the is in yeah. the is in the Metropolis deck. That's that where the sense. big APs are. Um, the, 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 sorry, the big prestige points are. Right. Um, the events are also uh, where where people think like are, are attributing some of the chaos to, but but a lot of like you can, you know, Edward might lose a whole bunch of points for that. And, uh, housing That'd be projects. twelve points potentially right yeah. there. If somebody were to yeah. build it right there, yeah. Well, I guess technically right there. Yeah, I don't. That would just be punitive. It would be. <laughs> it is. It's. I mean, it is also the spot with the highest neighborhood bonus. It is. <laughs> that, is, that is a true statement. Uh, and it would then tie for the most expensive residence. Um, which is that? Is which one is the union boss one? Uh, union boss is indus industrial. No, uh, I don't. The police chief is nice, but not as not as important. Uh, and sadly, there's no blue out. Um, there's two finance out there, so it's kind of appealing to bank one to get one. to get well to sort of get that finance payday, and then know it's coming again for me, right? They're both fine. Are they, so is that a six and an eight finance? It's a six and an eight. Yeah. Yep. So I think I'll go ahead and do stock market. Um, Let me have it. Yep. Please. All right. So you have the permit already. I have the permit already, which I'll. I'll discard. Finance eight and payouts for everything wherever he places that. So yep. Is that a two size? Yeah, it's two size. It's a two size. And. Uh, unlikely to do BGGCon this year, Bernardo. Um, I think uh, the things that Jess and I have discussed, nothing is set in stone. The only one that we know for sure, guaranteed, because I paid for it, Lobster Trap, which is local. Uh, maybe Essen. Um, uh, the Gathering, which, yeah, okay, that's the second one that's pretty much locked in. Essen, pretty much locked in. And maybe uh, PAX Unplugged. That's, yeah. Maybe Origins, we'll, but we'll see. Jess can correct me on those. Yeah, so I think... Something that scores green, that'd be great. I can't believe it. I, I can't get over how quick this is playing. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty ridiculous. Six, nothing, 12, 13. 13. 13 to seven. Yeah. Eight. These are 21. Yeah. Oh, eight. Yeah. 
Oh, yep. No worries. So then adjacent bonus. One, four. two, three, four. Is it doubled for you? No? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, and then I perform immediate payouts you, for you all wealth and prestige. Finance for oh, finance eight. Right. Um, oh, man. No, let's take it as points. You yeah. have to. It's. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I think you have to. All right, then... <clears throat> so the one will score. One will score. That's, that's me. One, two, one, three, four. One, that's one. one point. The six <clears throat> will score, which is going to be three and three, yeah, three which is four, four each. Four. Oh, this is getting ugly. And then you built it here. The six will score. That's going to be six bucks for you. And then we're both tied uh, three so two each? and two each. Ugly. All right, that one's done. Okay. Now you are out of permits, so you've spent I three am. of your six. I am four com buildings. Why aren't there any of those? Hmm, that's just annoying. If y'all are enjoying you it, for each politician and contractor, give us a thumb, subscribe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, there you go. What good timing on that. As I'm mentioning it, Tony just oh, nice. posted that. So thanks, Tony. Huh. Those are exactly the same card. For <sighs> I don't know. Forget. What's the goal of the game? <laughs> I'll take corporate HQ as a favor. So that is. Four. Four. Two left. Okay. Can't do that, so it's over here. Yeah. So it's one of these two. Right. right. They're literally identical. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. I'll, it I'll really take. does not matter, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh. Master of Industry, the player or players with the most industry. It's one each. Oh, no, no, it's You've one. Got, everybody's got one. No. Oh, weird. Yeah. Blue, blue, blue. That's it. Uh, yeah, everybody gains three. three and three. And that goes to the discard. Uh, One, two, three. Go ahead. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is this this is really important for what it is I'm planning on doing my my turn. The fact that I've gained money when not on my turn, <laughs> I've needed this uh, ballot election. Uh, mayor. mayor and Cities. mayor is most vocations. I have one. Ken has three, I have two. Place okay. a park. There. Um, no, let's go ahead and put it up there next to that, that one. Where? Right there. Nope, there, that's the one. Nope, there? nope, keep going. There you go. Okay. Interesting. You have plans, apparently. Well, I mean, it's a point, maybe. It's also a nine And it also it's keeps, me, keeps me in the running for the nine row, yeah. exactly. Three, naval base. Three and two, so Ken gets three, and I get one. The rich get richer. And the zoo. Oh, zoo. I'm planning on building this. That's why it's so important for me to have some money for that, uh, because it's going to give me two um, vocations. Um, So what else has come out? Place two one lot resident into two adjacent lots and take control. Wow. Wow, really. <laughs> so you could like build here and put one there. <laughs> oh well it does it. No, that wouldn't have a base zoning restrictions. You could put it here and put it here. But yeah. Ignore zoning restrictions. Oh it does ignore zoning restrictions. Yeah. I wow. mean it makes sense to put it close to the water. Uh, oh, may only be a belt adjacent to the water. Oh, yes. Okay. Ignore zoning restrictions, but put it, but put it next to the water. But I boy, mean, that that sure is a nice spot. If I build it there, yeah, I could build one there mm -hmm. and one there. Well, well it's the four size. It's four, so you so build one, one there and one there. Actually, oh, it's ridiculous. Which is pretty good. But you were going to build your bar. Yeah, I was going your, to. Uh, what is so, where's that? Where yeah, I'll go ahead and spend both. Uh, check that. That's one that, AP. That's, that's not blue. Oh, you're doing you're doing the naval base. Okay. Well, I, I thought you might still be building your your industrial building. He can get it. He can get it. I think. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be the four. 
yep. there for the naval base. The naval base is there, so we've paid for it, theoretically. Um, so this is a civic building. So as we have discussed, it must be adjacent to water. That's 10, 12, 13. I only have 10. So I will have already paid that yep. that I had that for is the three. just enough. That is... There. Whoop, pay the 13. There. But d did you have enough contracts? Was the other one a four? Uh, no, the other one was a three. So I had six contract or permit wor worth. I don't understand. So you, did, you didn't have okay. to use that for wealth, right? No, here. I had these. So you had, you had that, that one. one and that I one. Had, yeah. I had these. Yep. So I pay this one. Okay. Yeah. For three bucks to 13. And, and, oh, and then, then I gained this. that one. Got Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So then. Place two one-lot residential adjacent lots. Take control of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Hard to pass that up. Yeah. You got a lot on that column. Yeah. Um, Man, that two payout every time. <laughs> juicy. That'd be awesome. But, I, I mean, <laughs> it makes sense to try and do that. So, naval base done. All right. So, we have spent four AP... I need... I need a contract or a permit. Or this is literally all I yeah, can do. Yeah, that's all you can do. So, done. Two. Hey, we just talked hey, about two. Uh, I'll take that. I <laughs> want my $2. Your, and the rich Trey wants place. your $2. Yeah, yeah fair point. Prime real estate. Each player counts the number of non-park buildings they own that are adjacent to a park. Ugh. Player with the highest count gains three and three. That's so this, you own one, I own more than one. Two, I still own more, no, two and two, correct? Is there I, another? Believe, oh, I wow. believe it is two and two. Two and two, and player, or player, player or players get three and three. Okay. So... so. Okay, and, and fine. There. All yeah. right, if we have to. Prime real estate goes away. Local economy. We have players with two or more planning deck cards have to discard one of them, then gain five bucks. Nope. We each have one, so don't right. worry about that. Landlords. Lords of the land. Players with the most residential buildings. That would be me, uh, three and three. Three and three for green. That. Eight. Nope. And uh, election, election, which is the DA, DA and the DA is what? Days with me. Yes. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Damn it. All right. And seven. Seven is not out. Okay, done. Uh, then here, we bought a zoo. Olympic Games. Wow. wow. <laughs> this is the fastest game um, On record. Uh, seriously, like, have you ever played one this quick? Sure. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the game ends immediately. Score each prestige row one final time. Then players gain. So we'll do the second part first. So gain. Nope. Yeah. Just do a top to bottom. Yeah, that's I, fine. I think, I think that's the rule that way. There you go. So one prestige. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And three. Split, Nobody. Splitting nothing. Here is one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. I got, no, I got four. It's four. You have a park. Check that. So two in one uh, rounds, uh, one, one each. One each. One. one and two. yeah, this is ugly. And three. One, two, three for pink. And, and then one for white. And then six. And six. then the six is one, two, Five. three, one, two, three. So it's That's four nine each. for four each. each. And uh, so, hey, third place gets one. I would just like to point out, I want yeah. my one. Okay. That's all the prestige. Then, uh, wealth. Yeah, 10 bucks for each. Or you get uh, one point for every. So you get two points. I get one point and you get zero. Zero. Okay. okay. And then, end of game bonuses for the politicians. Uh -oh. Here, we'll go worse to first. So here we go. At the end of the game, one for every residence in play, regardless of owner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight, nine, Ooh. so thirty-four, four. and nothing for that. And next is Shrey. Go uh, one for every commercial in play. So it's seven. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, to five. Yep. 
Uh, one for every Civ in play, which is four. One, two, three, four. And then one for every industri industrial in play, so it's three. Industry is blue. Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. And then? One for every building adjacent to a park, which is two. Uh, that you own. Yeah. That one, own. Two. two, nothing's adjacent to yeah. that. But and the, there were, those parks are beautiful, though. This is I would I would you know like to hang out on this. I I, I would it, it's an open space, great hiking trails. Totally. Uh, so wow, we got smoked uh, seventy to forty two to thirty four. Yeah. All right. Well, first off, that was insanely fast. Yeah. Very fast. Uh, the 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 time on BGG says three hours. Yeah. To be clear, last time we played this with teaching, I think it was three and a half hours yeah. playing the standard game. Yeah. And we, cho we chose the shorter game on purpose because we felt like it overstayed a little bit. And right. what, this we, was actually really fast. Yeah, yeah they, this, I would argue, was too fast. Maybe we did, too fast. We yeah. didn't even see the shuffle card. a shuffle card. Right. 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 So, which we saw the shuffle card like five, six times. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, like, seven or eight cards down is the local headlines, which. Right yeah. here. There, score three and three, remove any uncontrolled buildings from place or anything that doesn't have a marker on it, and then shuffle the discard pile. Because at the very bottom of the discard pile, oh, right. there are these cards, which you never even saw. Urban Renewals, these come out uh, in the planning deck. When building the contract, you can discard this card to demolish one or more existing buildings. Basically, it's a contractor without the uh, protection, right. is essentially what that is. So, never even saw that. That is unheard of. Yeah, so I, I think... I think the, the short game is too short. It, it, yeah, it, so it is, it, the way it's stacked is it's, it's 18 on the bottom, then, then, then the, the, ne the trigger card is in the next 10, and then nine on top. Right. So if the trigger card is like, you know, the bottom of that 10, then yeah, it's about the same as probably the regular game, but we got them early, very and, early. And legitimate, er, er, yeah. er, er, like the guys can vouch, we didn't plan that. Yeah, like yeah. it wasn't Super staged, early. it just so happened. I would, yeah. if, I, if I was, so we can talk about um, the overstaying, I think. Because All right, we, start there. Let's, yeah. let's, because I, I agree to a certain extent, um, the first two-thirds of our game that we played um, over the weekend was, um, was, was, was entertaining, like it was, it was, you know, the, 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 the swings the, were massive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had, we were laughing. Yeah. We were yeah. having a good, great time. And with then, that. and then we got to the, we got to some of these cards where we got event after event after event. And right. it was, it, it was disrupting the flow a little, a little bit. And then, and then some of the large value cards in the Metropolis deck were coming up that maybe right. could be perceived as a little bit much like yeah. favoring one particular strategy over another. I don't right. necessarily, I don't necessarily agree with that perspective, right. but that's how that's that that is a perspective that that you could take from from that if if you're not uh, anticipating that sort of thing. I'd say that um, I wouldn't mind something in between. Um, I agree. I, I I think I think this was too short, and I think the game we played Saturday was too, too long, long yep. for what it is because the swings. Ken jumped out to a pretty massive lead in the first game, and then. Got I was, eviscerated. I think I, I, think I right? was behind by 30 something, 30, 35 points behind second place. Yeah, at the that. end. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it just, when you're getting throughout the game, it, yeah. it didn't feel real good. It, and I was the one that won, and I didn't really enjoy That doesn't but feel likewise good. Likewise, here, like you were, you were in the same position, right? right? Where like you just couldn't get out from under it. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, it, the game was too quick. Yeah. So what were you going to say, though, about the, the length in general? Though? Well, so, you know, I think the Metropolis deck is where the game really gets interesting, where you start to, and so maybe a little bit longer Metropolis deck, right, with a, right. With a, somewhat, with a somewhat shorter town deck is where, where I'd really want it to land. Right. Yeah. I think so. One other critique of the game, the thing I noticed was, notice we didn't build any of these the rest of the game, once the once the Metropolis deck came out. Now, that's not always going to be the case, I'm sure. We've only played it twice. But the thing that I feel feels off to me, and I'm not saying it is, I have no doubt that Chad and the folks at GMT and everybody involved play tested the hell out of it and all this. But the fact that these are so many APs, yeah. Those don't scale. Those don't shrink when the Metropolis deck comes out. That these are so cheap and they're so strong, it just 
feels like we should be focusing yeah. on the Metropolis so, one. Yeah. So, so I, I've played a bunch of times, and right. the, the it's rare. Like I have done it. Like taking one because okay, there's a vocation on there that I really want, and I, or I want to try to get majority. on the town or city yeah. you're talking, right? But, yeah. it's, but it is incredibly yeah. rare, and it, yeah. it does feel a little bit odd that way. But but I think the intention is the Metropolis deck is where you should be focusing anyway, right? Right. And and I think I'm okay with that um, because that's where the that's where the that's where the big points are. Yeah. Um, so one just, thing you can see, like notice how all of these are single permit cards. Yes. So I think there's probably a strategy where you stick to. Low Single permit, permit right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't right. have to worry about getting the big permit cow cards. That gives you a little bit more flexibility there. That makes but sense. But you're right. Like it's it's still low payouts. Like this one wouldn't be terrible, but it's your whole turn. Right, because it's five APs, which yeah. Yeah. E unless you are the one that gives you the eight, which is the union boss. Um, I I can't see. That's just yeah. It's so expensive. Yeah. Uh, that said. I don't mind the swings. I don't mind the chaos. Yeah. Uh, I, I was reading a review of this, getting ready for the play today, and somebody had said there's like little chaos and there's big chaos. Mm -hmm. And the little chaos, like the the one and one for the media, right, or but whatever. That's not chaos. Right. Like that is, you you play to spend the least at the first, at the beginning, and then you try to keep, play keep away because there are cards that can take it away from you. So. And the little things like random events, earthquakes happen, yeah. whatever, not that those are little things in real life. You get the idea. The major stuff, though, is, and we didn't see this in our game, is when you're allowed to, I don't know, move this yeah, to, like, big. there. Yeah. There are cards that allow you to do that, which drastically shift things. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you need to be aware that those are available or those are possible, yeah. but they're not always guaranteed to come out. Got to yeah. be prepared for them. And this right. is this is why I have this is why I made these sheets with like full information on what's on each card, <laughs> right? Because like you yeah. you need to, it, it's it's if you want to if you want to understand the game and 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 play it multiple times and and start to really uh, play it well, you have to know what's in the decks. And yeah. I haven't played this in five years. Um, Before this week, yeah. Okay, uh, I think it's about yeah, I think it's about five years, and um, so I don't remember a lot. Like sure, I don't remember the, the game. And we well played enough. it twice. Yes, yeah. so. my yeah, so my second play. And right. I will say, I mean, partly it's because it was shorter, but it did. I, I felt like I had a little bit better handle on what was happening. Yes, particularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. The first game, I was just like, we, you just know, being able to read board state better. I yes. think makes it feel less chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and the things that I've read on BGG is those that really like it say the chaos is it's once you know the decks and you know what to anticipate, you plan for it and you know what? Right. And and if the card, like if there were some cards that, that match a strategy you're going for happen to be at the bottom of the deck, um, you just have to accept that in general. Like, yes. I, so this is interesting, right? This because is this is the cards we didn't get to. Right. For I, the Metropolis. So yeah. this is a game that I should not like. Right. This is truly a game I should not like. Right, because the and, and anti chaos. As, yeah, as, right. As, yeah. as, a, as a as a a heavy Euro person, right. I I, I love my predictability um, with with some randomness in like Medici it's, or Medici. It's six. Only way to play it. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you know die rolls. Like some some like sure. th those you know the, the you know die. What is it like? Input randomness or output randomness? Like, yeah. like, right. um, like rolling a die in in um, in Castles of Burgundy, for example. Like, you you see, you you roll a die and you get your two you get your two um, uh, die faces that you can then spend on what's out there, right? Yeah. You're not like, you know, it's it's not the opposite. Oh, right? did I succeed? Yeah. Oh shoot, yeah. I crapped out. I right, think that, yeah, that. Th th this has such different like weird randomness in these cards, which like you flip an event and it, and it affects you. Just because that one happened to come out, right? Mm -hmm. And I should not like that, yet I do, which is totally weird. So thing, why? I why do you think that is? So I wonder. So I, I this is one of the first games I bought. Um, in, I, I, I P five hundred in two thousand eleven or probably two thousand ten. Sure. And um, and I I might have a little bit of nostalgia for for okay. for that fact, but I also I also. The, this is this is kind of silly because again, theme doesn't really matter to me that much in games in general. I kind of like city or city building games. As yeah. do I. Um, all three of us. Yeah. Yeah. So so 
the way that this plays out in the in the game, the, like the the way I can get into the fact that you know you know I built a house at Theodore Texas Mill Plaza in the in the last game on on on, on over the weekend, I, I was building a lot of low rent stuff, and it was fun. It was like I'm building all the all the crappy it's the places. Slum lord <laughs> over here, right? Yeah. And I and, and so like embracing that sure is something that I don't usually do, but I think I really like in this in this um, in this game. The other thing that I the other thing that I really shouldn't like, but I'm fine with is action points. I generally don't like games with action points. I don't like the, really? the, the mecha oh, mechan okay. mechanism of action points. Because one of the things that I, and, and this, isn't, this isn't necessarily true of all action point based games, but one of the things I find with action points is, um, is turns drag a bit because someone's like, I, will, I can spend two to put this token over here and, and one to put this token over there. And yeah, one, and but a lot maybe of like, I can maximize it yeah, if I yeah. did this. And, and, and I'm right, just sitting yeah. there like, okay, I gotta wait for my turn. Three more people have to do this before it gets back to me. And that's, that that's a, that's that's one of the strong reasons I don't particularly like action points in games. Right. This does this this moves relatively fast um, in a three player game. We should talk about two versus three. We'll get there. Four. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. think um, I think I think that's in, for that regard. It's actually I actually I'm actually totally fine with it. Yeah. Um, well, the decision space on your turn is narrow enough that yeah. I, it's pretty hard to AP. <laughs> There's, there, there can be some because of the contracts and everything out there, yeah. right? And and again, this is the one the one of the, the the cautions that I was told about this game was it's extraordinarily tactical. Like you could go whatever. Um, go get snacks or whatever when it's not your turn yeah. because the game state's going to change because right. what cards are out here, the number of action points that they're going to be, et cetera, et cetera, all that's going to change plus what... But I didn't really find that to be no. a huge issue. I mean, I'd issue. say it's similar to Through the Ages where, like, sure, the card row is going to change a lot, but, but it, doesn't, it doesn't change what you're looking for. Like, you're still thinking about things you want for your strategy. Oh, sure. Right? Hey, that one specific card, ah, yeah. that sucks. Okay, I got to... Right. You know, make lemonade exactly. out of lemons. No big yeah. deal. Um, so I didn't find that to be a terrible issue. And to go back onto the luck or chaos factor, for me, what I found from our previous play, again, two plays, this was too short, that was too long. Yeah. For as long as that last one was, I felt like the amount, again, being a new player to this, I thought that the, the the amount of randomness in the game was more than I like in yeah. my games. If it had been 45 minutes quicker, maybe half an hour quicker, I would have been really good with that, which maybe that's a, we took too long because it's our first you know maybe. game, that type thing. Yep. But two and a half hours, probably my threshold for a game with this amount of randomness in it, luck yep. of the draw, when things come up, what cards come up, what cards don't. Yep. Um, so... I could, if you are totally anti-chaos and anti-randomness, stay away from this. Yeah. 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 Um, but I, I liked it more than I anticipated, I will say, because I was like, let's play it to play it, and it's Chad's game, so I want to experience this, but I've heard some really bad things about this, so I had really low expectations coming into it and come to find out. We were having a blast. We were laughing yeah. at the, just the crappy things that were happening to one another and what that we were doing to one another. It was it was a lot of fun in that regard. Yeah. Um, player count wise, go for it, Trey. You're, yeah. Our only plays are with three players. Yeah. So both yeah. of our plays were Yeah, I played three. I played two, three, and four. I th yeah, I played four once, I think. And the four is 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 probably fine, except it's just it's too long, and and the game and, doesn't scale. Yeah, it doesn't scale at all. Based on player except count, except for except for the initial seating of the right. of the okay. of the board. Yeah. Oh, then the number of original buildings yeah, that were out there. still twelve, right? so everybody gets right. three a, it's, instead it's of even, four. Yeah, evenly divided yeah. no matter right. player yeah. count. Okay. Yeah. So right. I, I I thought I, you know three is the right number. The reason I'm not as not really a fan of two, and this comes into the. Well, actually, you know, one, one thing I also didn't mention about games I don't like, but this one has, is Beat Up the Leader. Um, yeah. Oh, boy. It, it, notice the theme with Chad Jensen. Dominant species, right, is yeah. the right. quintessential, oh, he's in the lead or she's in the lead. They pick so, on them. So the fact that, I, the fact that, that um, you know, in, in this game was fine. The, the politicians were relatively evenly distributed. Nobody had zero. Right. Well, I mean, if this game had gone five or six more rounds... We were in trouble because I think you were going to be able to hold on to some of those yeah, slots, right? Potentially, yeah, yeah. Potentially, if I was well, able to, I, I, I was I was coming after the vocation one, yeah. which yeah. is the mayor, I guess. Yeah, which is, yeah. which is which yeah, is Ken's, right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. so so in a two-player game, 
uh, one player can just get them all, and then there's just really very little that the other player can do. They have the contractor, which will help, but still, if they're low on money yep. and they're not able to make enough money to get into those high value um, um, uh, locations, uh, locations, right, yeah. then then they're kind of screwed. Uh, someone else, uh, that's, that's that's not a fun experience for in a two player game. It, it, some some two player games are more more balanced. Probably like if if the if the player is more evenly matched, right? It's it's more reasonable. But it's still I can I that can happen even when players are relatively close. It can happen and. Yeah. Um, and so that's the reason I'm I'm hesitant to play two player. I think it's also more interesting with three, where you have two different two different people who have to figure out uh, you know where behind like where behind Ken. Um, so one of us is going to be the contractor, and that might go back and forth for a bit, so that we can knock him down a bit, and then try to finagle it so that when I'm contractor last, I get enough of a boost to get there and not help you enough. So right. I think with three players, the dynamic is much more interesting, and in, in, uh, the way the politicians and, and four, like we said, just it it it's just slower because you have a fourth player making decisions, so it takes longer. Yep. But the deck doesn't scale, and none of the decks do. I'm good. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, so player count, randomness, game length. Yeah, that's it. And as far as production quality, I honestly, like the cards are old school GMT. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and it's fine. Um, the only other real critique that I have, and this is super minor, is show the, the markers. Oh, these. Yeah, those are not. The, these are not really well visible um, when they're out here for, like, highest, because you would do like... It's a marker that tells, so you can say this is the highest uh, value civic building. Which is really hard to see, and I'll be honest, it's hard to see sitting at the table. Hard to see with the naked eye. Right, so that's why we went ahead and grabbed, and you can grab black if you want, a non-player right. so color, whatever, we just yep. grabbed those. Yep. Um, so that's an easy substitute on that, and... And, and uh, JT mentioned... JT spread mentioned spread for a spreadsheet for yeah. most expensive block or whatever, yeah. as things get more and more crowded out there. But other than that, um, pretty good, and uh, yeah, some folks have mentioned this is available for twenty bucks on GNT's website. Yeah, if it that, is, I feel like that's really good value if yeah. this is the type of game that yeah. you would and that's enjoy. That, you know, it's 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 you. I play a lot of like really processy euros, like you know. Uh, I would argue we all do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, and, and and this this is not that right. Sure. So. If you if if I think if you typically look if you're looking for something that is a little unusual and you are like 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 a, a, a more of a Euro, Euro player, I think this is a fun game for it. Like if, yeah. it's a fun game to meet that sort of that sort of like very specific type of game because I have nothing else in my collection like this. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Well, there you go. So that's it. Um, thank you. Well, thanks, Shrey, for yeah. bringing this out and mentioning this I previously. This I do and, love this game. It's so and, uh, it's yeah, ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah, I, as somebody who knows you pretty well, this is so not your yeah, speed. Yeah, it is normal. definitely not a game I would have expected you to, to be excited about. But yeah. it is. It's, it it's is. fun. It's just fun. It's fun. Um, and I try and avoid the, the, the F word. Right, uh, the because one person's fun is another person's spreadsheet yep. work, right? Yep. But it just embrace the chaos, lean into it, and have a good time with it. And <laughs> and there is strategy. The more you learn the decks, mm -hmm. the more the more sh the strategy comes into play. So there you go. Uh, we'll be back later on this week. When I don't know, we'll figure it out this week. It's been a bit of a chaotic week here uh, privately. So there's that. Um, but the podcast should uh, be dropping tonight. Uh, uh, Vitali is currently up in our neck of the woods. He's up here in New England. So he's doing this from a hotel. He's uploading the, uh, the podcast and all that stuff. That'll be up. If it's not up tonight, it'll be up tomorrow. And, yeah, other than that, I'm sure I will be streaming, if nothing else, something solo this weekend. And, uh, yeah, so subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, give it a thumb. That way you can hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever we go live. Consider supporting the show over on patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Thanks, everybody. And we'll be back later on this week. I'm Edward. I'm Trey. I'm Ken. All right. Y'all have a good night. Get your vaccines yeah. so you can do this. This is cool. It's nice to be back. Have a great night, everybody. Be kind to one another. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was a whooping. Media man. This was a slow. This was a slow. I was getting there. I was getting there. Not really. No, yeah. I don't. I was. <laughs> I got smoked. Yeah. That was fun though. Even though I was getting smoked. Yeah, I, I had yeah. fun with that. <laughs>